Uh, oh, I got mine went first this time. Yeah. 17 large. Actually, I'm second. I'm not last. Yeah. There you so. go. Hey, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Dot Com Lunch. It is beautiful. How hot is it right now? 75? Like 81. Right? Yeah. 81 right now? Yeah. 81 degrees right now. We are nice. under an umbrella in the shade because when we're in the sun, it's, it will be too hot. We got to sit inside, but we don't want to sit inside because it's so calm, nice and comfortable. 81 degrees. I don't know what it is right now in Vancouver, but I'm sure it's less than 81 degrees. Yeah, so. Hello, hello, all you people freezing in the Tundra North. Normally, I use a Zoom H1 to record the audio, and I bought it with me for lunch, but then, look at that. The on-off switch broke. Like, it, it, it broke. Now I, I can't use it. And I was going, ah, oh, crap. And, you know, I just bought this thing, like, a month ago, but luckily I bought it from Amazon, and apparently I bought, I got, I have until April 15th to return this. Today's April 14th, one day, I made it one day, so I did it online on my phone, returning it. I'm gonna send this thing back and and I guess get another one because yeah, that's the first that's the first time a Zoom H1 has ever failed on me. So I'm not sure if this is a glitch or if this is indicative of quality. I'm gonna say it is a glitch because all the previous Zoom H1 was so good. But good thing I, I say if if this would have broke down two days after, I would not be able to return it. God, I love Amazon's return policy. Mark Zuckerberg was had two days of grilling in Congress, right? And, so, and I don't know if you watched the video, but you may see some of the questions these Congress people were asking. It's pretty weird. There was one particular one by a senator, an old senator, who basically asked Mark a question and said, "Mr. Zuckerberg, I go, how does your company survive when you don't charge your customers?" Right, that was the question. How does your company survive when you don't when your customers don't pay for the service? And Zuckerberg gave it the answer goes, Senator, we sell over hundred million bucks a day of ads. And the Senator goes, Oh, okay. Right? But actually, the reason I brought up this this particular question asked by the senator because it's actually a very, very good lesson because here's the thing. See, the senator actually made a mistake of who was the customer of Facebook? So he asked this question was, how can your business survive when your customers don't pay for the item? Zuckerberg, so he, he's, he's referring to the Facebook user. Zuckerberg's answer did not refer to the Facebook user. His answer was, Senator, we sell over a hundred million dollars of ads every day. See, Facebook's customers are not their users. In fact, their users are actually the product that is being sold. Facebook's customers are the advertisers. See, the, dif the difference here, Facebook say, we have customers, our customers actually do pay a hundred million dollars a day. They go, what the center refer to, those people, the users, are not customers, that's why they call users. And, and here's a key thing, if you're not paying for it, you are not the customer. In fact, if you're not paying for it, you're the product that's being sold. Keep that in mind, all right? Because uh, there's a reason why uh, custom, customers, clients pay. This is why Facebook calls them users. This is why YouTube calls them viewers or users. You are not YouTube customer. You're a YouTube user. The YouTube customers are the advertiser. You are not Facebook's customer. You're not Twitter's customer. Hell, you're not my customer. <laughs> customers pay. And if you don't pay for it, you're not the customer, right? You are, you're actually the product, right? So keep, keep that in mind, so a lot of people ask that. And this is the center made the confusion that the Facebook customer was a user. It is not, all right? So uh, if I'm not paying for it, I know that I'm not the customer. In fact, I'm the thing being sold. Now you can see that, wait a minute, I am paying for it in a way as a user because uh, I'm giving Facebook my data. I'm giving Facebook my information. That's how I'm paying, I'm paying, and then the advertiser is paying for it. They're sponsoring me. They're indirectly sponsoring me. So in the end, I end up paying for it anyway. Uh, indirectly, you may be a customer, but an indirect customer isn't a customer. That's like uh, me buying Christian here lunch. He, you know, he's the freeloader. I'm the customer. Right? So that's like a Facebook relationship. Like he's the Facebook user. I'm the advertiser. And. That's what, yeah, I pay for his lunch, but in the meantime, Facebook deals with me because I'm the customer. They take care of me. They, for him, they just want his data and stuff. But, yeah. 
So anyway, that's a little business lesson. Uh, just just realize that that if you're not paying for something, you're not the customer. You're the product being sold.